Hi everyone, it's Kate here and welcome along to our parent-child cartwheel progression video. Now we're going to be looking at cartwheels and learning to cartwheel for little ones takes lots of time and practice. It's a very, very difficult skill to learn due to that sideways movement. And the younger that we start to get used to this type of the rotation, the quicker we're going to learn a cartwheel. So we're going to take you through lots of different progressions. Now, first of all, we're going to start with crawling. This is brilliant to develop our coordination, making us use both sides of the brain. And this is a great one for parents, for you guys to demonstrate this skill for the little ones. And you can always crawl over the top of them if you need to encourage them to stay on those hands and knees. So let's take a look at it. We've got Betsy with me, and we're gonna start down on our hands and knees and encourage these guys to be a little lion and crawl around the gym or around the space that you guys have got. You can do some lovely big roars to scare people using both sides of the brain. Now we progress this on into a bear walk and this normally happens when we kind of get to the age of two or a little bit older and we're developing that coordination and that arm strength. And again, a great one for you to demonstrate. Don't worry if the little ones drop to their knees, that's quite normal, um, but you can always help by holding in the hips and encourage them onto those feet. So so taking a look here on our hands and feet starting to go for a little walk and see if these guys will copy you and this is really starting to get those arm muscles working those leg muscles working and working on the core as well now let's move on to some one leg balancing again brilliant for the leg strength and brilliant for the balance and we can support this with one hand around little one's leg uh, sorry around their waist and taking one leg off the floor now don't worry if we get jelly legs that happens quite often for these little guys. Uh, they need to get used to feeling that standing on one foot. So hand around the waist, taking off that one leg to do a balance and then trying it on the other side as well. So really good to start to experience what that's like to be on one leg. Now let's move on to our TikTok, and this is really starting to lead up to the cartwheel, transferring weight from one leg to another. We do this with our older gymnasts, and a great one for you to demonstrate. Don't worry if little ones just watch you to begin with. We're gonna sing a little song for this one as well, so let's take a look. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout, tip me up and pour me out. Let's take a look now at step slide. And we weren't gonna do this one on the beam, but we can do it on the floor. Great for that coordination and balance. And we can support this again with one hand around the waist and one hand on the first leg, moving that first leg, letting the other leg slide on in. And again, don't worry if we get jelly legs. It's quite normal for when we first start. So one hand around that waist, taking the first leg and step and sliding across the floor or across the beam like we're using here in the gym. Brilliant for working that coordination and it's starting that transfer of weight from one foot to another, which is what we need for our cartwheels as we start to learn them when we get a little bit older. So we're going to start to work on this upper body strength now with some donkey kicks and we're going to sing a song, The Grand Old Duke of York. So developing that balance on our hands, developing our upper body strength and to support this one, just holding at the hips, lifting up and down. Don't worry if the head goes down to begin with. As we start to get more used to it, we'll push through the arms. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Our war handstands are brilliant for developing the upper body strength. And again, this normally comes in when we're about 18 months or a little bit older. Now, parents, you guys can demonstrate this skill. Works perfectly for the little ones. And if we do need to support, we can just hold at their hips. And again, don't worry if the head goes down to begin with, or maybe we don't put our feet on the wall to start with. It takes a little bit of time to start to learn these different positions we're asking them to do. So the hands go on the floor, and we encourage those feet to start to walk up the wall as best we can again the head goes down to begin with don't worry about that so now let's take a look at this full cartwheel learning this sideways rotation developing our spatial awareness now for the support on this one we have to cross our hands over and make sure we're holding little ones at the hips because then as, as we rotate them they end up the right way up and we want to encourage them to put their hands down on the floor but don't worry if that doesn't happen at first 
So let's take a look at this full cartwheel. Cross the arms over to tip them upside down. The hands go down and then they can come up the other side. And if we can't quite lift them up the other side, don't worry, they can just put their feet down. So hands are crossed, holding at the hips. Encourage the hands down to the floor so that they felt that sideways rotation. We can just bring them down to their feet to finish if we can't bring them all the way up. Now monkey jump, this is really progressing on to an independent cartwheel, an independent sideways movement. If we want to support this one again at the hips, and again we may put our head or tummy down to begin with. Now this monkey jump skill normally comes in when we're about two and a half or slightly older, because it is starting to become an independent skill. Using a little block, hands go on the top, and we help the children jump their feet from one side to the other. Brilliant work guys, thank you for watching. Try and have a little practice at home and we can't wait to see you in the gym.